Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm the Strategy Professor and today we're going to be doing another um, OP.GG review and uh, coaching session. So, special thanks to Fast Blast. This is going to be a Janna game and I believe it's Silver 2? Silver 2, Janna game. So we're going to be looking it over and this uh, Fast Blast is going to be duoed with the Caitlyn bottom. So I'm going to try to give the Caitlyn advice as well. I don't mind coaching duos. Um, I'll do it for the same price, just the $20 price. I'm only going to do one OP.GG, though, because that takes a little bit of extra time at the beginning and the end. Um, but for the same price, I can try to give commentary for uh, both people as much as possible. So let's go ahead and get in here. Uh, this is a really good-looking game. It looks like it was probably a stomp, and just looking at the team compositions, it looks like it probably would be a stomp. Um, but sometimes those are the games where it's the most difficult to find stuff to improve on when you're already crushing it really, really hard. So we'll see if we can dig some stuff out to uh, to help you out. Now keep in mind that a lot of this stuff might seem minor because you're probably going to crush the game anyways. Uh, but it is definitely things that could turn the game quite significantly if your team isn't as far ahead. So I haven't watched the replay yet. Just looking at kind of the, the final score, the items, and all that stuff, it looks like this game... Uh, is is probably probably pretty uh, pretty over early, but we'll see. Okay, so looking at the op.gg, here's the game that we're going to be reviewing. Um, I see that if we look at builds. You have a ton of control wards. Sixteen control wards is excellent. That's really really good. So you're you're great in that department, in the warding department. Um, how many normal wards did you have? So if you had 16 control wards, I assume you had a ton of normal wards. You have 50 normal wards. Very good, so that's excellent. Um, so we have that covered. As far as the runes, uh, I recommend going early AP on Blue and Quint. I used This is what I actually used to recommend in my older Janna videos, which you may have watched, or maybe you just ran these yourself. Um, but I've switched my mind, I've switched my opinion on that because the AP really gives you a lot of extra power with your shield early on, which is pretty crucial, and it has pretty decent scaling with your ult later on. Uh, Janna is already pretty strong uh, in terms of movement speed, and with the way that itemization has changed, you usually get to your CDR cap pretty quickly because everything is going to have CDR on it. So your Eye of the Oasis and your Ardent Sensor, your Redemption. All that stuff's already going to have a lot of CDR, so it's not a total waste if you run mobility instead of Ionian boots, um, but that AP really, really does help with the shield uh, early on. I had been not as committed to that line of thinking before, but after using AP quite a lot, um, it's a pretty significant boost to your shield early on. It's like an extra, if you have 15 AP, uh, it's like an extra 10 shield, maybe 12 shield early on, which is pretty significant if you trade a lot, which you should be trading in this lane against Vayne. So, it's not a huge deal, but I do think that the early AP is definitely worthwhile on Janna. Uh, perfect looking masteries, so that's great. That's everything I would recommend there. Uh, your build overall is pretty strong, I like that. Uh, I'm a little skeptical about Zeke's on Janna. I mean, that can work, but like the, the thing about Zeke's in my experience is that you want to be able to hold people in place so that your AD carry can just pound them. Uh, for the entire 10 seconds because a lot of times if people are smart and they see that Zeke's go off they're just going to disengage um, while that's going on and your ultimate also has a really long cooldown compared to a lot of other ultimates from other champions I think it's 150 seconds at level 1 so it's a pretty long cooldown it does power up your AD carry a lot so maybe against if they have a ton of divers uh, maybe you could do that I mean they do have a Mumu and um, Garen but I would recommend in this comp running a Mikhail's instead of the Zeke's. And the reason I like Mikhail's here is because that can cleanse away Polymorph if Lulu happens to get close to Caitlyn. If someone gets caught in a Vagar stun, which is highly likely that someone on your team is going to get caught in that, you can cleanse that away. Um, or if a Mumu, you know, hooks somebody or ults somebody, then you can cleanse that away as well. So I really like Mikhail's here, and Mikhail's is a pretty good uh, combo with Redemption because it gives plus 20% healing and shielding, which is good with the rest of your kit as well. Um, it also gives the uh, extra mana regen, which it's the mana regen that scales with this, right? I always get confused between this and the Athenes. Um, Three times, okay, the heal is three times as effective. Okay, the mana regen is four Athenes. 
Um, but the the plus 20% healing is three times as effective on Redemption. So Redemption plus Mikhail's is a pretty strong combo because you get triple value out of your plus healing. So that's that's what I would go here. I think you're probably going to have enough power anyways to kill him. And really the only way they're going to beat you is if Ver conceptually that it looks to me is if Vagar just lands a ton of miracle stuns just gets like mega fed um, to the point where you can't even shield through his uh, ultimate and W anymore. So I would run Mikhail's instead of uh, Zeke's right there. Even though Zeke's could potentially be good, I would run Mikhail's. And then as a final item, if you got there, I would get to Athene's if you were just super rich at the end of the game for your final push. But otherwise, it looks really good. Zeke's Strong item, you can't really go wrong with it, but I just think Mikhail's be, probably be just a little bit better, uh, theoretically, there. Pre-game, like I said, your team should steamroll this. Every single lane looks like it's going to win. I mean, your lane should crush Vayne really hard. Kennen should crush Garen. I can't imagine Kennen would ever lose that matchup. Um, Lee Sen should be able to do whatever he wants in the early game. So Mumu typically doesn't offer any pressure until level 6. Um... The mid lane could be a little difficult in theory, but I don't think that Vagar is going to have enough kill threat until he lets, hits level 6, and that's when Akali is going to have her kill threat too. So, now that that could be a little suspect, the Akali into uh, Vagar, but it's not awful. I mean, Akali can still win that. I think that's just kind of a skill matchup. Um, so, I think that's fine. So, you have two lanes that should absolutely hands down win their lane. Your jungle should dominate, and your mid lane should be about even. Or a push, at least in theory. So it looks like you're probably going to crush this. Just, you have an excellent siege team because you have Caitlyn and Janna are awesome for sieging. Caitlyn's traps, her range are obviously very good, but then Janna makes sure that they can't really engage onto you uh, very easily. And the shield that she puts on your AD carry obviously does additional damage to towers. So Janna Caitlyn is a classic, very good siege comp. Cannon is ranged, so, you know, he can do a lot of damage as well. Uh, when you're sieging towers, so it's pretty good. Akali's not ranged, which makes sieging a little bit more difficult. Neither is Lee, but overall, I think that's good. Does Akali, she probably has Ignite, right? I can't tell what she has. We'll get into the game. If Akali has TP, you could actually send her as the split pusher and just keep Kennen with your team um, and just siege it that way. But you should, you know, in theory, you should smash bottom, rotate middle, smash middle, get dragon, get rift herald. And then use the Rift Herald somewhere and just keep steamrolling your advantage and try to close this out early. It looks like maybe that's not what happens. It's a 43-minute game, so maybe I could give you some advice on how to close that out faster. Uh, but in theory, that's that's probably how this should go down. Okay, and we'll talk about um, if someone watching wants to get a, a coaching session, I'll tell you how to do that at the end of the video. And I've got a link to my coaching playlist and a bunch of other good stuff we'll talk about at the end of the video. You can also find the notes to this um, and the timestamps in the description if you just want to jump to the game. I guess it's a little late for that. I should have mentioned that earlier. Um, but you can always find that in all my videos, the timestamps to help you skip around and access to the Google Doc in the description. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get in here. And as usual, I'm just going to write down everything that I see um, that I think could help you out. And then we'll go over it at the end. I'll write it all down for you, put a bow on it, and help you gain a ton of ELO, hopefully. All right, so let's go ahead and get in here. All right, uh, we're in the controls here. What was... I'm trying to remember how to drop this scoreboard. Is it you? Okay, there we go. Someone requested that I do that with the coaching video so they can't see like spoilers on it, like when the game's gonna end, all that kind of stuff. All right, so we're just gonna speed it up here. I wouldn't invade. You, In theory, you can invade in a Moomoo, but your team has no like good crowd control early on, so there's not really a point. It's fine. Invading is usually a sucker's game anyways, or often it is unless you have something that's ridiculously strong or an invade like a um, Blitzcrank or something like that. Okay, good, helped Lee out. Uh, Alright, help him push this up. Attack. Just like sling a, an attack or two on these. You want to hit level 2 and just start pressing him. Once you start blade. Okay, good. You don't need Doran's shield here. Vayne does need Doran's shield. Okay. Yeah, push this. Push that. Just like auto attack this a little bit here. You just want to get in their face because you know Amumu's going to start blue because he has to. Like, Amumu can't really start red. And so if he starts blue, you know he's going to go to the top side first. So he's almost certainly not going to gank your lane until at the earliest, like, if he does a full clear and backs, 
he might gank your lane at 3.30 or 4 minutes. But this this should not be happening. Like, Vayne should not be pushing you in under any circumstances. You need to get up there and, and push. I don't know if you're... Maybe you're lagging or something there. I don't know. But yeah, you needed to get up here and auto-attack the creep wave with the Caitlyn. So that you hit level 2 first. And then you need to use that level 2 to bully them out. to Just to push them away. Yeah, I mean, she's getting some free hits on you. So I'm not sh Either you're talking to your friend or lagging or something. Um... Anyways, you need to get out of this. You need to push this lane up. So after this goes into the tower, when the next wave comes down, I want you to start auto-attacking the uh, the creep wave to help Caitlyn. Now, don't auto-attack it if it's really close to dying, obviously. You don't want Caitlyn to miss CS, but... You don't need to attack that one early because these creeps are already going to hit it. Okay. You need to get up here. Yeah, play forward more with Kate. Just shield the Lulu. Who cares? Just walk, like, just put a shield on yourself at this point and just go up and attack Lulu a couple times. Just get her to waste her Q. They'll almost always do that at Silver. They'll just cast their stuff on you anyways, even if you have your shield on. Yeah, y'all need to be punished. You're, giving, you're basically giving Vayne a free lane. Um, and you should absolutely be crushing them. I know that Lulu is uh, scary to some extent early on. How scary is she? Not, and she's only got 16 AP. I mean, she's got she's got to have mostly defensive runes here. Like I, I mean, she she just like tickles. She does almost no damage. I, I wouldn't be scared of this Lulu. I would. I mean, there are some Lulus if they go like you know 40 AP early or something like that, and they play like super aggressive. They go all in on the early game. That can be scary, but this is not one of those Lulus. Um, so just because you're Janna, you know, you can still get aggressive in some lanes. Like, I don't mean you have to just w walk up. I'm not sure what was up with that flash. I I, I don't know. I, I assume it's a misclick. I assume it's a misclick. I mean, there's not much to say about that. Obviously, you don't want to flash right there. Uh, but when I say get aggressive, I don't mean, like, just run up and, like, auto-attack them a ton. But play forward. Get up there. Go shield. No. Um, get up there with Caitlyn and auto-attack the creeps and push it in. That's, yeah, it's definitely something. I'm going to mark down here. So auto attack the creeps help uh, ADC push. I mean, Caitlyn's doing. Now, one thing I'll, you guys need traps. Trap, trap, trap. She's level four, so I know she's got traps. She's got a full mana bar. This is one thing that you have to do as Caitlyn is. Caitlyn is all about the traps, so you need to be setting up traps. Just set one like here, like here, here. In the bush is a great place. You need to have those traps. Because what what you want what should be happening in this lane, right, is you should be going up and auto attacking the creeps with the Kate when starting at level one. Push them in, hit level two first. Uh, they really can't beat you if Kate one like cues the the second wave that comes in. You could even tornado the second wave that comes in if you want. Just charge up a tornado as the second wave's coming in. You tornado it, she cues it. There's no way they beat you to level 2 off of that. Because Vayne has no wave clear. Lulu, at this elo, is not going to use her Q to wave clear. Probably. So you're going to hit level 2 first. Which means you, she can get her trap next. Walk up. Push them into the tower. And then just start setting traps right there. Just like, right where they want to be. You just always want to think with the traps, like, where's the most annoying place I could put this trap where they're going to want to walk? Um, get in there, get forward. Uh, go ahead and exhaust, go ahead and exhaust. Okay. Oh, your exhaust is down. Alright. 
Fair enough. Um, but yeah, you need to have them in this tower and just traps like trap here, trap here, and trap like here, or something. Just just be a super pest for them to like try to walk through that. Caitlyn's really all should be all about those traps. Like that's the whole reason that you pick Caitlyn is she's got those zone controls of traps. And if they ever step on the trap, obviously you just headshot, net back, headshot again, cue them, and that'll be like over half of their health bar. And then they'll just have to leave. And then you just go to work. You just keep pushing them in with the traps, auto attack the towers. Now once again, that that can be dangerous in theory, if uh, if they have a very, like, aggressive early jungler and you know they're going to come down there and try to get you. Amumu is not that jungler, especially on his first clear. He has to go for a full clear. His ganks are just awful, and he has to have blue. Okay, so on this back, I'm not sure how much gold you have, but you want a, uh, a side stone. Okay, good. Now start working on your coin. Get, like, a reju bead. Okay, boots. Uh, boots. That's probably fine. Boots. I think you could have upgraded this to the tier 2 coin instead of getting all that extra stuff. I mean, the boots plus the control wards are nice, but I think upgrading your tier 2 gold item is probably better here. Control wards are nice, but I don't know. I feel like you want your gold online just so you can get to, um, you know, Ardent Sensor Redemption faster. I mean, locking out the vision here is nice. But in theory, like, Lee shouldn't be able to gank this lane. Like, I don't know. Yeah, you don't want to... I don't know. That was okay. That was an okay. It's like if Amumu shows up. Like, I know he's there. He just... He didn't do anything. He just kind of sat there and watched. Um, but if he, like, went in and interrupted you... Here, let me take off... Uh, okay, here we go. Now I can see Fog of War. Um... Okay, now y'all are pushing in a little bit. What's the item situation here? We got BF sword to BF sword. See, she's beating you in farm there. That that should never ever happen. As Vayne. Like you you guys should be up like twenty CS right now. Because she should have to like you wanna make her farm under tower and like have to dance around these traps the whole time. It makes it really difficult to deal with that. And this tower should be like halfway dead by now. Okay, so I would ward here. You're coming up. Mm, there is okay. I would ward here, here, and right there is a good one too. You want to definitely have a ward on... Did they already get dragon? Mm. Or is that just a fog of war thing? No, y'all got dragon. Okay, yeah, y'all got the dragon, y'all got the dragon, okay. Still, I would like, um, I would like to have it in the middle of the river, though. Just here, here, and here. This will tell, um, Akali if a move. This is a really cute route that people try to take, is that back door there. It's very common. And then, obviously, people running up and down the river is common. This doesn't cover, like, what you have right now doesn't cover Blast Plant. I guess that does, right there. It's okay. It's okay, ward coverage. Alright, you see Vagar? Y'all need to start backing up. Okay, never mind. He stayed. Yeah. Yeah, help her push. There you go. I would honestly... The thing with mana coin on this patch, too, is like, you get so much extra mana 
Like, I would just go really, really hard on wave clearing this. Like, when you push up early, like, when this wave's coming in, just, like, start charging a tornado right here. And then once it's fully charged up and they all walk up in a line like that, your tornado just busts right through it. It'll do, like, probably a third of their health, and then Caitlyn just cues it, and that should just be, like, instant wave clear. And you just keep running into the tower like this. Now this, yes, this is what should be happening the entire time, from, like, level 2 on. Like, I realize they're not in the lane and they're dead, but you can just pretend they're not in the lane, because they're not going to be able to do anything about it. Because they have no wave clear. Like, this is the kind of stuff that should be going on the whole time. You see how she just gets poked out almost instantly, while she's trying to farm under tower? Like, that's, that's what should be happening here, and you could have had this tower probably at, like, 8 minutes or less. Because the Moomoo's not going to help them. Um, see, she's basically dead. And you just keep getting mana, so it just lets you have a really productive way of using your mana. Just channeling tornado, wave clear. Yes, yeah, channel a tornado right here, just throw it right through that. There you go. Okay, good. Back up a little bit more, too. I don't know if you got gold off of that or not, but try to give your 80 carry the, um, the maximum gold if it's safe to do so, which it looked like it was right there. No, leave, 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 leave. You don't know where Vagar is. You don't know where anybody is. Just leave. Dragon's up here, too, in 15 seconds. Do you have wards? Drop a ward on it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you have to back. Yeah, generally, you don't want to ever try to back in this bush unless you know it's swept, because it's a very, very common area. I would have actually moved one of your pink wards into this bush, just to shut it out. Okay, so she got Infinity Edge, which is great. You have Oasis. Uh, really, all you could get is Oasis? Oh, because you didn't have coin before. Yeah. Fair enough. So, yeah, Caitlyn's got a couple kills. Well, this game's not as much of a stomp as I thought it was going to be. Okay, let's see here. Um, okay, good job. It's writing down. Pressure vein much more early. Okay. Uh... Alright, so what y'all want to be doing now, so dragon is the next thing that you need. So what you need to do now is just keep pushing up as fast as you can. Push all the waves up, and then just start getting stuff. That's what you want to do with Caitlyn. She's so good at sieging. Uh, exhaust if you can. Okay, your exhaust is down. Uh, okay, you're going to have to back up. I would have warded over this wall, like... Y'all know they aren't doing dragon. You have a ward on it. I don't... I don't know why he went so far forward for that. Yeah, y'all need to leave. Interesting. Well, Kenan is losing top. I said I have no idea how that's going to happen. <laughs> that's how it happened. All right. Yeah. So what you want to do is just get down here. So instead of going for the dragon there blind, just tell your team push up waves. This is a big thing that I think in a lot of elos, people just don't respect wave pressure enough. You need the waves up. Because wa like putting waves up and on towers does damage to towers, obviously, but then it also gives you vision. And oftentimes it will force someone to have to go respond. If they don't respond, they lose a lot of gold at the tower. So, for instance, if Caitlyn just pushed this up one more wave, it would already be on this tower. Um, Vayne would probably be up here farming it, and so you would know where she was, and then you could come over here and ward this safely. Because right now it's really dangerous because you don't know where Vayne is, you don't know where Mumu is. They probably have all this warded up. You know there's a pink right there. Now they could just come rolling out, yeah, just like that, and fight you for it. So... Now you've got this, this is pushing, so it's going to be up there here in like 10 seconds. I expect Vayne's going to be up there, so... Yeah, get your team to come down here and help you. 
Yeah, get Caitlyn to come over here and start dropping some traps. She's got a blue buff. She can trap everywhere. I haven't seen a single trap on the map yet. So, she's doing a pretty good job in the fights, um, your buddy. But you really, really need to start using those traps. Like, trap, trap, trap right now when you're sieging. It should be, like, the first thing you do is just set up, like, a, just a carpet of traps. Okay, so now you have this vision controlled. Get down here. Tell everyone to come down here. Put a trap here. Um, and then just trap, trap, trap. I'm not sure how many she has right now. If you only have three traps, put all three here. If you have four, put one here. Should max trap second. Oh, she's getting that second. No way. No way. I think you should definitely max trap second. Those traps are the, the lifeblood of Caitlyn. I don't know. I guess she always has to get Q for her wave clear, but it's traps are almost as important as Q. Like... You 100% want your traps before you upgrade your net. Like, that's so, so important. It gives you more traps, and it gives you extra bonus on your headshots and traps. Yeah. Okay, so get over here. This is why you need a ward on this wall, like, over this wall. This is really, really powerful spot to have a ward on, because this is where people run back and forth. Like, this is cool when they're running for river, but so many people come through here. Knock that blast plan out. Y'all are way too slow on these objectives. Like, you could have had Dragon five minutes ago. You have vision coverage. This was pushed up to tower. You should be fine. No, you're not fine. Is he getting... He's not even really that fed. Mmm... I, w I would rush Mikhail's here, honestly. I know you're going to rush hard and center. If your buddy has some good items, but I would get Mikhail's. Because what's killing you guys right now is his Vagar. And the crowd control. They just have so much crowd control. You need to have a way to cleanse the um, Vagar cage off of people. Yeah, and you already lo you lost Rift Herald. That should, that's, I say you lost it because that should have been your Rift Herald, because you guys have a huge advantage. You have had a huge advantage in terms of Siege. So you need to get in here, tell people to push up, tell your buddy to push up mid lane or bottom lane. Once it gets to here, have them come over here, set up the vision, ping your team to get over here, push middle wave in, ward, ward here, ward here, drop a pink there, okay good. Um, I would actually put it, like, right here. Most people on red side will not drop a pink at the very back of this pit, but they might drop some in here. And if you pull this out just a little bit more, the pink ward, um, uh, then it'll see wards there. That's way too deep. Okay. That gonna be, like, a flash cue. Oh. No, he doesn't have his flash. Um. Yeah, this, uh, ward right here is too shallow. You need it here. Is this, like, this is not giving you... Okay, that's good. Uh, get this tower and get dragon right now. No, tower, 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 tower. Tower first, while Vagar's not there. Mm, I would get that tower first. I mean... Getting dragons okay, but you, like once you open up that tower, then you can get the dragon. You'll probably get them both anyways, this tower is low enough. But I think getting the tower first was the better move. Okay, where's my? So I'm going to say press advantage faster. So I, if you had uh, if you had warded that earlier and got your team to get the dragon earlier, then you would have had that water dragon to help you siege the Vagar and some of his poke. Like so you need it you needed to get vision all around here, pink this, tell your team come get it, push up bottom and then rotate over here and just take that. And then um, you go middle. Caitlyn just sets up a trap line. Like, 
right here, 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 here with traps. You've got water buffs, so your team is constantly healing, and you just get everyone together and just push this down. After you push that down, push this up, and then you could have gotten Rift Herald, and then with Rift Herald, you could have taken another tower. So, I don't think they would have been able to stop that. Because Vayne didn't really have any items, they don't have any wave clear, Vagar was really weak for a while there. Stop chasing, get the scuttle, get the scuttle. Scuttle is very important just overall, especially on an open map like this. It helps you rotate. Alright, so right now they forced a stalemate. Um, you guys should have had superior early game, but now we were just kind of wandering around, just waiting on the next thing to do. You can't really get Dragon or Baron right now. Your team's not strong enough. Um, that's kind of playing into their hands because they can't really beat your team in a straight siege. Um, maybe in a team fight. Like, one of their win conditions is just like if Vayne gets too big and she just like shows up and can get these like one on ones with people or just like two on twos with Lulu. Like, that, that's a scenario that's really bad. And that's kind of what's happening right now is Vayne's just getting time to like farm up and power up. And your team really, like, you need to stop that from happening. Okay, so you need deep rewards. What do you have? Just about have your Ardent. Yeah, good. Keep Vision on Baron. That's a threat. They have to try to come and clear that. They have to respect that. Okay, good. And then what you want to do is you want to ward here. Like, here's pretty easy. It's not that dangerous to ward here and, like, here. And if you see more people on the map, then you can roll up and, like, ward up here. That's fine. You at least force Garen to come down there and mess with that. You don't have a very good pick team. Like, you have a Kali. Like, if you had a different kind of team comp, then you could kill people who try to come up here and get this pink. It forces them to come deal with it. Kind of like an objective in and of itself is like who can keep the vision around Baron. It's a pretty important objective. This is probably warded. Something in here is going to be warded this time of game, most likely. There you go, Siege. The problem, like, yeah, there he goes. So you need to try to like get control of this first. Vision, just like ward here, ward here, sweep this. It's like. I'm going to guess. Okay, so I'm going to say there's a ward right here, and there's a ward right here. Let me take away the vision and just see. Oh. Professor Prophet, right? So, yeah, they have two wards right there. <clears throat> so, you can just assume this is warded all the time, and this is, has like a <clears throat> 80 or 90% chance of this being warded if you don't sweep it. Um... Okay, good. Get this tower, get this tower. You tell your friend back up. Garen could come rolling up. Ward this. So Vayne, like, if Vayne comes rolling in. I, you guys might be able to beat her, but like, if it was Vayne plus a Moomoo, it would be a little harder. You might be out of wards, I don't know. Get up. Okay, dragon's up. 50 seconds. So you need to tell your team, hey, everybody, dragon, 50 seconds. You need to be backing right now. Like, go back. Like, immediately at one minute, go back. Just get... Get back immediately. Go refill your Eye of the Oasis by, like, two or three control wards. Tell your team, hey, help me, help me set this up. Don't die. It's really important to tell your team, don't fight, don't die. Help me set up vision. Get all your wards, come over here, ward here, ward here, pink this, ward here, tell Caitlyn to set up a trap line right here. How many traps is... She still has one point in trap! Ah! You gotta get more points than trap, friend. Okay, so ideally she would have one trap here and like three traps here. Or just set them all right here. Just all the traps. Yeah. 
No, 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 no. Don't chase him. Well, I guess they got him, so... Whatever, that's fine. Just get this dragon. That's what you really want. You need to ward here. Th this is not enough intel. Like, it doesn't see them fast enough. Okay, there's a couple of traps, but these are kind of like half... Uh, half measure traps. Oh, they got dragon? Yeah, it's bad. So, like, going over here to kill the Vagar seems like, oh, not a big deal, free kill on Vagar. But that took, like, ten seconds away, and you could take the dragon in ten seconds. So that gave the rest of their team time to come over here and, like, mass up and then come down and contest you. Whereas you could have got it, like, immediately if your team didn't chase the Vagar over here. <laughs> Infernal's obviously way more important than just killing Vagar. Okay, you'll probably get this tower. Right. No, 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 no. Okay. Leave. Um, so you need to tell your friends, uh, you need to have a ward here so you can see when everyone's coming. Like, have a ward here and then have a ward here. Or maybe even here. Probably here's a good spot. Um, and then wherever you see them coming from, right? So let's say they're, you see them, like, running through here, right? Just set up trap. Trap, trap, trap. Right there. Three traps. You see them coming this way. Okay, trap, trap, trap. If she has them all stocked up, then I don't think they have a very long, like, cooldown. I think it's instant. You can just drop, like, all three instantly. So just trap, trap, trap. Or trap, trap, trap. Whichever hallway they're going down, just completely cut them off. Then if they want to come through there, then she's going to chunk out, like, half of their health. Which is, remember, it's just attack, net, attack, Q. Boom. Someone's erased. I mean, you probably would almost literally one-shot somebody at this point. Keep in mind, like, if you haven't read the trap carefully, you get extra damage on your trap headshot. It's not just, like, a trap that just crowd controls him. It's extra damage on your headshot, and you get more traps when you do it. Now, that extra damage on the headshot can crit also. So this is what makes Caitlyn do, like, 5 billion damage later in the game, is the Yordle snap trap. You get the bonus damage, plus the headshot damage... And, all, and plus your normal AD and all of that can crit. So she can get like 1500 damage crits off of those Yordle snap traps. So it's not just crowd control. Think of it as burst damage. This is like your Vagar R or something like that, right? That's what Caitlyn's traps are. They are massive, massive damage. That gets much bigger as you put more points into them. Okay, what are you getting here? It looks probably like Zeke's. I, I really would not go... I, I think you need a Mikhail's here big time. Mikhail's, and I think Redemption's really good here too because Amumu is going to do like pretty good area of effect damage and you absolutely have to have Mikhail's because if Vagar ever stuns somebody, it's lights out. Yeah, they're dying. You need to tell your friend to get a quick silver sash too. I actually don't like Guardian Angel, Angel that much. Like, it looks like they're going to get out here. It's okay, but... A lot of times, if someone dies with a Guardian Angel, like, an AD carry, if they die, they're just going to die again. Not always, but... Like, GA's okay. I just think that if you get used to using Quicksilver Sash, you're just going to be in a much better spot. It gives you lifesteal, and it gives you more AD. And it stops you from dying in the first place. It's And it has a much lower cooldown. So, like, GA is okay if they have something that's, like, completely unavoidable, like, massive damage that's just going to kill you. Like, a Zed that's, like, 10 and 1 or something like that. Then GA is okay. But if it if the crowd control is killing you, like, if it's the Vagar Cage that's killing you or the Amumu ult that's killing you, just get the cleanse effect. And it's just way, way better. So just get a quick Silver Sash and then... Eventually, you can transition that into Scimitar. Also, it's cheaper. Like, Quicksilver Sash is only 1,300 gold. And you can carry on getting your um, Rapid Fire Cannon, I assume, would be her next build. So, you're not going to have to take as much of a, a detour. You can just get the little small piece of the item, and it's good enough until the very end of the game. Okay, so I'll write, write that down with my pen here.
Um, I mean, Zeke's, like I said, it is nice giving all that damage, but you can't really do damage if you're dead. And so, if, you're, um, if your Caitlyn gets killed, then it's not going to matter how much damage, in theory, she could do with Zeke's. So, yeah, that was a good ward. I mean, they cleared it, but that's a good spot where you should put wards. You got the intel that they were all there, which is important, and they moved. Okay, set up for dragon. What, what kind of dragon do we have here? Is that another infernal? No, it's a more dragon. Okay, dragon. So you've got you've already got a pink on this. You know they're not going for this. Push up middle. That's that's always step one with any equation when you're trying to contest an objective is push up the nearest lane. Now Lee's going top, which is awful. Okay, bot lane's pushing. No, push this all the way up. She like halfway did it. No. Y'all... You know they're all there and you don't have vision. No, 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 no. Okay, Vayne's bottom. Uh... Yeah, push this up. Yeah, there you go. Now, some, now you're thinking. Push this up and just go get Dragon. No, just... The dragon's free right now, just go do it. The lanes are all pushed up. They're out of position, just go get the free dragon. It's like 100% free right now. Do it before they get caught up on the waves. Yeah, go get it right now, right now, right now. I just want to ping, 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 ping. Like, get down here and get this. This is the thing, y'all are very slow on these rotations. Everyone's just kind of milling about. Yeah, just get it. Okay, see so see how much more vision you have now that these lanes are pushed up? You can see this, you can see this, you can see this. You see everything in the jungle because your wards, like, you have perfect intel here. So push this up again. And then go contest Dragon. Or Baron, rather. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it here. No, no, get off. No, make, make someone go respond to this stuff first. Just wait. Okay, there's Vagar. If you can get a fight, you can you, you can have a 4v5 right now. Oh, never mind, you back. You absolutely do not want to back right there. I assume you probably need more wards, but not when everyone's positioning. Oh. Yeah, y'all need to ping them back. They're all about to die. Okay, there you go. Drop it. No, too close. Okay. Well, they're losing a lot of farm and their tower is taking damage here, so that's kind of the goal. Because you are able to push up that lane. I miss the old ZZ Rot, uh, where you could, like, split... Okay, two are over there right now, right now. Baron, 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 Baron. Ping it. Just light it up. Ping, 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 ping. Go, 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 go. Vagar and Vayne were both over there. You have full vision. That was a lost opportunity. I think you could have at least come in here and swept this and just waited for him right here. You don't have a really good, like, bait and bush team. But I still think it would have been worth a, a try. You could at least, like, if Kenan comes out of a bush and ults and, like, Kate drops a trap on people, drops traps on people, I think you could have done it. This game's taking way longer than it should because... This is one of the harder parts of the game to, like, close out. Because the only, like, real objective here that is obvious is Baron, but, like, pushing up the lanes and just getting the vision is the objective, really. The Baron is the prize, but that's the objective, is to get vision around here and to get these lanes up. I think, legit, you could just group as five, probably, and just walk up and, like, siege down one of these towers. Okay, you finally got...
This is another thing about Zeke's. I saw you use it early, but like, um, you know, a problem is like you want to use Zeke's at the start of a fight so you get maximum damage a lot of times while everyone's kind of grouped up so you can turn the fight. But like with Janna's ult, you really want to wait on it until people have already taken damage, until the enemy's kind of out of position. Yeah, y'all need to get this. I want, I'm wanting to ping this. I got 20 seconds. Uh, I think you can get this one and this one. You gotta be quick though. Go, go, go. Go get that. Next. Ping it, ping it, ping it, ping it. Okay, good. You're pinging it. Uh, I would just get the tower. Uh... Okay, okay, you got it. You need to run, like, right now, though. Okay, good. It's pretty, pretty scary. But you do have really good disengage because you're Janna and your ult was just about up at the time, so it's fine. But yeah, that's that's one of the kind of the structural problems with Zeke's is, like, you want to use it on engaged champions that can hold people still. Like a Brob, a Leona, um, Thrash... Sejuani, Gragas. You don't want it as uh, Rakan. You don't want it as much on sort of uh, reactive champions like Janna or. Okay. Plus, you don't really need the tank stats as Janna. You know, like the armor and the magic. It's like it's okay, but you don't really need that. Like it's much better to get something like a Mikhail's. It gives you the plus twenty percent healing for your entire kit. And gives you the cleanse effect, which is super powerful, especially if your AD carry doesn't get um, Quicksilver Sash. Then that's really powerful. Y'all yeah, just saw him. Get this. Get this. Veins down bottom. Ping, 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 ping. Get this. They can't. They can't contest. Two, t two inhibitors are down. Ping, 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 ping. Who cares? Give them that. Just get the Baron. No, 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 no. Yeah, she's gonna kill him, probably. Ugh. I mean, it worked out, but that's. You just trade it. Just. Who cares? Give him that and just get Baron. And then just walk it up bottom lane. I mean, if they had this warded and just, like, left, like, they saw you running down here and they just ran away, you know, they would have wasted 30 seconds of your time. Remember, when the inhibitor's down, you're kind of against the clock. Like, if you don't close out the game, they get the inhibitors back over time if you don't get any extra advantages. Yeah, it's just taking way too long. So we'll say be more decisive. With shot calling and OBJ's objectives. Now, you have been pinging. I see that. And you, you have made some good calls with it. And sometimes there's just not a lot you can do with your team, right? Like, they just won't listen to you. Um, but you just do it more. Like, sometimes... It's a little bit late when you when you try to tell them what to do and sometimes like you're in the right spot And I know you were wanting to get Baron. I think based on your positioning you were around Baron when they were bottom And your teammates just ran after it. So you just followed But just ping just like empty like eight pings on the Baron And just say get Baron get Baron get Baron like who cares get Baron like Sometimes you just have to tell them Like even though you're in the right place don't let them talk you off of it. Like, if they keep going, then yes, you have to follow them, right? You don't want to be too obstinate about it. But at the same time, you know, don't give in that easily when you know it's a, a suboptimal move. Like I said, it worked out, and that's kind of how I thought this game was going to go, where you don't get that punished. Like, the game took longer than it should. 
but you don't get that punished for um, like some suboptimal like macro decisions, and that's that's the place you can really optimize there. Cause it's real easy to walk away from this game, I think, and think, you know, it was a it was basically a perfect game, right? Like you only died once, your eighty carry had a perfect game, and all that stuff. And you guys played very well. You know, I don't want to take anything away from you guys. You did. You played very well. You executed well in the fights. You protected people very well. That's all well and good. But I also know that you are uh, giving me this generous donation for this video so that I can give you some real stuff that will help you climb. And that's what I've got for you. Okay, so, um, you know, once again, you can't be too results-oriented. It worked out this game, you know. But there were definitely lots of things where if it was a tighter game or if they had a better team composition, um, then they definitely could have contested you more. So this kind of stuff is just really good habits to get into so that you can go to that next level so you can win even more games and hopefully get to gold or beyond this season. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and talk about some of these things real quick and then we'll go ahead and end it. How are we looking here on time? About 50 minutes. That's all right. Okay, so... Uh, all right, so early on... I'll say... Help ADC push lane. Uh, by autoing creeps. Charge tornado for even stronger pushing. So, you know, like I said, if it was a more dangerous jungler, if they had an early game Graves or Jarvan or um, Elise or Eve or something like that, then you have to be a bit more careful. But if it's an Omumu... And, you know, you're starting on, you're on the side of the map that you're on, and you know he's going to be top side because he starts blue at the bottom and works his way to the top. You know he's not going to be there for the first four minutes. That's your time just to go to town and just really push that in hardcore and force that vein to farm under tower. Um, have your AD carry just drop traps right on the tower and just sit there and just annoy the daylights out of them. And you will take the tower very, very quickly. Trust me, if you do that. Just every time the wave's coming up, just charge the tornado, full charge tornado, goes in, knocks up all the creeps, Caitlyn queues, they should be like one auto attack away, and then full wave into the tower every single time. Um, so that should be happening. Um, pressure Vein much more early, but especially before she gets any items. Um, Every time she goes up for a CS, your Caitlyn should just be tagging her with an auto attack. Just ping, ping, ping every time. Because one thing you have to remember is whenever someone goes for a last hit on the CS, that means they're not hitting you back. So that means you get a free auto attack if you're in position to do so. So when they attack the creep, you attack them. And eventually it gives you a large advantage over time. AD carry, um... So you need to max traps. Let me show you what I'm talking about here really quick. You definitely need to max your traps second. Um, look at this. So you start getting extra traps. You get up to five traps. That's a big deal. And the recharge time is much, much lower. So that means you just like constantly have traps you can be dropping. And it gives you a ton of extra damage. So 190 damage plus 70% AD on a headshot. Increased damage on a headshot. Um, so that is just massive. Because remember, this can crit also. So if you have 100 AD and someone steps on that trap, you know, if you have... Um, <clears throat> if you just have a level 1 trap, that's going to be 100 damage. If you have a level 2 trap, that's going to be 260 damage. And remember, that can crit. So a level 1 trap for 100 damage, critting uh, with an Infinity Edge is just 250 damage, right? So you get 250%. Um, but a level 2 or a level 5 trap, if you max this second, um, is going to give you, if you have 100 AD, which you'll have more than that by the time you max it all the way. I'm just using an easy number here. Um... You know, that could give you 650 extra damage. Um, so that's that's a lot. That's where you start getting into, like, the nasty one-shot, headshot, Caitlyn territory. 
Uh, so you really, really need to max those traps second, and you need to be using them a lot more um, in the fight itself, or your AD carry does, rather. Your buddy. Um... So we'll say push lanes hard and then get dragons, rift, and more towers. Just push those lanes up. Caitlyn pushes lanes really hard. You can actually push pretty decently if you charge a tornado into creeps. Just push up that bot lane, get vision. Um, I'll say... Uh, So I talked about some places where you could adjust your wards a little bit more, especially um, in the river, just over that little wall, that little hallway there where people like to go through in the jungle. I think that can be really strong. Um, let's split this up a little bit, make that easier to read. There we go. Um, what else, what else? Dragon Rift. Um, So especially against a team that has that much crowd control, like a Vagar, you know, like Vagar, Amumu, Lulu, there's so many things you can cleanse. You can cleanse Vagar's Cage, you can cleanse uh, Amumu's Ultimate, you can cleanse Lulu's Polymorph. Um, there's so many good things to cleanse, and the same is true of QSS. And remember, like, if you don't die, if you can get out of it with the QSS cleanse, then uh, Mercurial Scimitar is so much better than GA in terms of its overall stats. And you can just get the Quicksilver Sash and then go on and finish your Rapid Fire Cannon. You don't have to finish GA. Like, you don't have to finish the entire Scimitar. Whereas with GA, you have to finish the whole thing or it sucks. Like, the parts are bad. You have to get the, you know, you want that passive bonus. Whereas with the Quicksilver Sash, you can just, you know, buy it on the cheap and then finish it up later, which lets you get back to business faster to get your Rapid Fire Cannon for more damage. So, I really like getting a, a QSS instead of a, um, a, uh guardian angel there uh, and then just be more decisive uh, you were doing this some but just do it more ping people more ping them in advance just really take advantage you see two people bottom go threaten bear and immediately um, a lot of times you guys were thinking that but you're a little slow on the draw um, some of these times so just keep those lanes pushed up and then force them to walk into darkness and then you can jump out of a bush and kill them with cannon or if they don't want to go contest bear and if they're just really slow with it you can just go get it instantly so um i think just try to be a bit more decisive with the shot calling try to contest um keep you did have good vision uh for the most part in the game but try to really leverage that vision by threatening the baron itself forcing them um to have to come face check you in the dark by putting additional pressure on them right sadie because if you all disappear off the map and they have no vision they have to like go there immediately like, so when Vayne and Vagar show up bot lane, if you go to Baron immediately, then those other three people are going to have to go face check. They don't have to, but they will. So they're going to be freaking out. And they're going to say, oh my gosh, and they're going to run into Baron. Then you can force a 3v5 out of a bush somewhere um, while they're on their way to Baron, right? Whereas if you just kind of, you know, saunter around and don't go contest Baron fast enough, then they have time to clear out bottom, and then Vayne and Vagar can go rejoin their team, and then they can go check you with five people. So you have to be really quick. If you give Vayne time to clear that wave, she's going to go back with her team. So you have to use that window of opportunity to force them to fight early on. Okay, but that's going to be it overall. Uh, good game. I think just the big things are just pushing the wave earlier, really pressing your advantage with the Vayne, leveraging Caitlyn's amazing siege with her traps um, to take a bunch of towers early and just snowball your advantage and close that game out in 25 minutes instead of 45, which I think was totally possible. Um, if you guys uh, just kind of really committed to doing that, really kind of put your mindset to doing that. I think you could have done that a bit faster. But overall, good win, uh, good game. I think your, uh, you know, your micro within fights is pretty solid. Uh, you're protecting people. Your AD carry never died. You only died once. Obviously, that's great. Um, I think just, like I said, adjusting your play style in the lane, according to the lane. I mean, if you're against a tougher lane, like a, you know, a Draven Sonar or something, you may not be able to do that, but against like a Bane Lulu, you should definitely push them in early. So just really kind of reading the situation, leveraging your early game advantage a little bit more, 
um, changing your itemization around just a little bit more to be a bit more um, respectful to the amount of CC the enemy had um, to get that McHale's I think would have been good. Same is true of the, your AD carry getting the QSS. Um, and just doing rotations and just recognizing moments of opportunity a little bit more uh, in the mid and the late game with your uh, your shot calling and your rotations. But other than that, fantastic. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the donation. Um, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Oh, and for everyone else that uh, wanted to know, you can request a, a coaching session for me. It's just $20. You'll get a video just like that. Just email me. We'll set that up. Um, at the strategy professor at gmail.com. If you want to watch more playlist videos, I've got the playlist uh, right here for you. And um, I also have a playlist of champion guides. So if you want to see how to play Janna in depth or Lulu or Rakan or any of your other favorite champions, I probably have a guide for them. So just check out my champion guide list there if you want as well. Okay, that's going to be it. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time.